Hello Taurus. Today's video is going to be a reading all about how your person is feeling about you, about the connection, what are they thinking, what are their energies. We're going to be looking at all of that today. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus watching. Take what resonates for you, what applies for your situation, and leave the rest. All right, Taurus, let's jump into this. Spirits, angels, guys. What messages do you have for Taurus in love? What's the energy surrounding Taurus in love? What is the energy surrounding Taurus in love? Okay, we got walking away, departure, journey, movement. You're walking away towards something more fulfilling. Okay. What else? What else for Taurus? Mirrored souls, soulmate, mutual feelings, fate, you marry each other in this special connection. Interesting. So someone could be walking away towards a soulmate connection or walking away from a connection. We'll see. Now I have um, two decks here. I'm going to be using one deck for you, one deck for your person. Um, I'll have you on this side, Taurus, and your person on the other, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more. All right, so let's see. Tell me more about Taurus. What is Taurus thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? This could have also happened in the past. Someone could have walked away from this connection in the past. And I say someone because it could be you or your person because you're both here more about Taurus. What is Taurus thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection spirit? I'm going to set down your energies and then your persons and then we'll jump in and clarify. What is Taurus thinking or feeling in this connection spirit? Okay, we got the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Two of Wands. Oh, let's switch in. One more please for Taurus. Death reverse, Scorpio energy. Let me get an animal spirit oracle for you. Tell me more about Taurus and the energy they are bringing to this connection at this time. Raccoon. So Taurus, what I see here is um, there's a resistance to an ending or a change, a transition here with death reversed. Or maybe a delayed change or transition for you. Um, with the Two of Wands, I feel like you're trying to decide between two very different paths here. Kind of looking out, seeing what else is out there, which way to go, what to do. And, you know, I feel like you haven't made that decision yet. That's probably why there's Death Reverse. But with the Seven of Pentacles Reverse, you know, there was an investment here. Time and energy put into something that didn't really grow or manifest in the way that you hoped. So let's see, what about your person? We, we're going to clarify these, so let me put down your person's energy first. Tell me more about the person that Taurus is dealing with, Spirit. What are their energies at this time? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Taurus or this connection? What are this person thinking or feeling? When it comes to Taurus or this connection spirit. The raccoon is kind of shifty, um, very uh, clever, but they kind of hide their true intentions or, you know, they wear kind of a mask, the raccoon. So I have a feeling that whatever you're going through right now, maybe you're not being open about it in some way. Tell me about the person that Taurus is seeing with. Spirit. What are their energies at this time? We got the Seven of Cups reverse. The Tower. Wow. 
Maybe they've caused a tower, or they will, or they're going through a tower moment. Tell me more about this person that Taurus is dealing with, Spirit. Three of Cups reversed. Party's over here. This could involve more than one person. We'll see what that tower is about. I'm not picking up if you are with this person or not. I don't know. With the Seven of Cups reverse, this is someone that has made a choice and there might it might have been the wrong choice. Um, or um, making a choice here might cause a tower. We'll see. Tell me more about this person's energy. Spirit, tell me more about this person's energy. Okay, we got the fox. Clever family oriented Let's look at the fox real quick because usually they're mates for life um but there's more to them so i'm trying to see if i can see anything else that smart wise strong partner Skillful, adaptable, ideal life partners. But when out of balance, they could be sneaky. So I feel like you're mirroring each other here. Mirrored souls, very similar energies here with the raccoon and the fox. So let's clarify these. Let's get more into this. Get to the bottom of your, the way you feel about each other and what's going on here. Tell me more about Taurus, please. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Not theirs. Why is the Seven of Pentacles reverse? Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, it's like you're, you're, you're mirroring each other here and then Three of Wands. So once again, looking out, seeing, you know, what's waiting for something, what else is out there, you know, results coming in, waiting to hear back. I feel like you've been waiting for something to improve or change, and maybe it hasn't. Maybe you've realized that this wasn't the right uh, option or the right investment with the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Tell me more about the Seven of Pentacles reverse. One more, please. The Emperor's reverse. Yes, yeah, something didn't grow here or manifest. And I have the Eight of Cups. So you could be walking away from something that wasn't growing, wasn't. It wasn't the right investment. It wasn't the right choice, the right option. And so now it's like you're thinking about something else. Why is the two of wands here? Tell me about the two of wands. Four of Swords reverse, so taking some sort of action, feeling restless. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Justice. Yeah, so this is about, once again, okay, you have Libra energy here. Whatever decision you want to make, maybe there's a legal matter involved, or perhaps you want to make sure it's the right one for you. 
because you want it to restore the balance. You want it to be fair to you. You want this 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 option to to not be like the others, like maybe the others that you've done in the past here. You want this to be the right one. Tell me about death reverse. Okay, there's way too many, but I have the Ace of Wands reverse. So again, uh, I don't really feel like this is happening right now. Maybe this is, you're still in the thinking stages or perhaps there's some sort of delay here. Why is death card reverse? Why is death reverse? Page of Swords reverse. So maybe you don't have all of the information. Maybe um, there's something that's not being communicated. Tell me more about Death Reverse. There could also be Deception here. Yeah, Ace of Swords Reverse. So there's not a lot of clarity or there's outright deception here. I don't know if you're the one being deceptive or if this is someone being deceptive to you. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords Reverse and the Page of Swords Reverse. What's this about? Spirit. What is this about? What is this about for Taurus? Ah. Stress, anxiety, guilt. So someone you feel, if this is you, you feel guilty or stressed or anxious about what you know you want to do. Maybe you are hiding what you truly are planning here. Or you aren't being honest with yourself about something. If this is someone else, they feel guilty for deceiving you or are worried about deceiving you in some way here. Tell me if this is resonating down in the comments. Let's clarify your person's energies here. So tell me about the person that Taurus is dealing with. But I feel like you're the one that is thinking about walking away here. And there is a barrier you need to cross in order to do that, is what I'm seeing. Tell me about this Seven of Cups reverse. Why is the Seven of Cups reverse? Knight of Swords. Communication, truth message tell me about the seven of cups reverse five of wands conflict drama i feel like this person is making a quick choice and or maybe you know communicating something and that's the choice right the choice was to say something or communicate something and it just brought drama and conflict maybe it ended up in a fight here what's this five of wands about this could have been a verbal fight or a verbal conflict or two of cups reverse yes there's there's it caused a disconnect in your connection it could be multiple people involved here some sort of truth or conversation brought a disconnect and that was a wrong choice here. It could have also been that, you know, maybe there was some sort of illusion here, something that appeared good at first, but wasn't. Tell me about the tower. What's this tower about? Why is the tower here? Uh-huh. Yep. This person, I feel they cost the tower because they weren't thinking of the consequences of their actions. Maybe they were only thinking of themselves and what they wanted. The Hermit, Virgo energy.
isolating themselves. Um, six of Wands. So this person, I feel, um, interesting. So this tower could be you walking away. This tower could be something that they cause. But in their mind, they, they're thinking of how they can be successful now. You know, with the Hermit and the Six of Wands, maybe they're picturing success, how they can be successful, how they can make something work out in their favor. Um, they're thinking, and they're thinking quietly. So I don't think that they're communicating this either. Tell me about the three of cups. So it's like you're both kind of not really being honest with each other. Tell me about the three of cups reverse. Why is the three of cups reverse? Five of cups reverse. Why is the three of cups reverse? Two of swords reverse. The moon reverse, Pisces energy. So something's being seen clearly here. Something's being seen clearly. Something has risen to the surface. Um, whatever was hidden is now being revealed with the moon reverse. Something's no longer an illusion. And somehow, for some reason, I think that that's getting in the way of a connection. It's like someone's seeing things differently now because I have the Four of Cups here. So there's disinterest, dissatisfaction. Someone's not interested in this anymore now that they see what this really is. You know? So that's not what I was wanting. I feel like someone wants to re have a recovery, recover what they've lost with the Five of Cups reverse. But the illusions like right in the middle like interfering that you know like if this is about a reunion there's an interference here let's see what is this person secretly thinking or feeling about you taurus sorry what is this person secretly thinking or feeling about taurus using my secret moon oracle here what is this person thinking or feeling about taurus right now I'm working on myself. What's this person secretly thinking or feeling about Taurus? I'm taking action. Bottom of the deck, expect a message. So I think they're going to communicate with you. Maybe they're going to try to tell you like, hey, I'm going to work on myself. I'm I'm going to make sure that this works out between us. Um, you know, I'm sorry for this tower or I want to avoid this tower, whichever, you know, whichever it is. Um, I'm sorry about, you know, whatever hasn't worked. Something like that is what I feel is going to happen. So where is all of this headed? What's happening next in this connection? What's next? I didn't even ask my question. Where is all of this headed for, for Taurus and this other person in the near future? What's next? What's next in the near future here? Princess of Wands. Page of Wands here. Okay, so the Hermit did want to come out reverse. That one's the one that while well, I was shuffling you came out. So there it is. Virgo energy. And notice how this... In this card, the Page of Wands looks like they're like waiting for something, like on the lookout here. So maybe you're waiting for a message from this person, or you're waiting for some sort of communication here. Where? What's next? What's next for this connection? So, and we got the Moon Reverse again, Pisces energy. Yes. 
So I feel there's going to be some sort of reveal. Maybe this reveal is tied to this tower. This moon reversed is tied to a tower moment. Something unexpected. Maybe it's an unexpected message because this person's taking action by communicating, you know? So maybe this is like some sort of surprise message here with the Knight of Swords and the Tower, right? Like, surprise, but you weren't expecting to hear from me or you weren't expecting for me to tell you that. Um, but there's definitely going to be some sort of reveal, some sort of surprise tower, surprise revelation here. Um, and I feel like your person's going to initiate it in the form of, you know, communication. This is after they probably thought about something or after they've kind of withdrawn. Um, uh, leave me a comment if this resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoy these readings and want to see more, hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.